Alright, so if you don't already know, that bitch, Rona, has caused a lot of shit to be cancelled, and that includes E3. Luckily, IGN, of all people, have announced the Summer of Gaming event in June, which I made a video on, so you can check that shit out. And that's supposed to be like a, a basically a digital E3 that should tide us over to the real superior E3 comes back in 2021. But it looks like IGN are not the only ones who want to capitalize on E3 being cancelled. We've got Games Radar who now want to enter their, dip their toe into the E3 or the June ring. And they want to now have an event. It says here, Games Radar presents the future games show broadcast and website event in June. This is nine hours ago, it's recent shit. See the most exciting console, mobile and streaming games in of 2020 in one show with a mixture of exclusives. So they got exclusives. So there's a reason to look at this and IGN as well. Deep dives and developer interviews. Games Radar is delighted to announce the future games show, a digital showcase of the most exciting games of 2020 and beyond as you prepare for the launch of next generation consoles. PS5 and Xbox don't know how to make a good fucking console name since the first one later this year. The Future Games Show is an hour long broadcast containing exclusive, only an hour? Okay. Exclusive trailers, announcements, and deep dives on existing AAA and indie games, focusing on current and next gen consoles, mobile and streaming platforms. The Future Games Show will take place in June during the former E3 week, supported by exclusive news previews interviews from the editorial team at Games Radar. Expect more details in the coming weeks. With E3 cancelled, Games Radar is still to be working with its partner, publisher and developer friends to showcase the most exciting games of 2020 and beyond with exciting announcements planned over the coming weeks. Broadcast worldwide on Games Radar, fastest growing game. Look at them tooting their own horn. Shut the fuck up. 30 minutes. Shut the... Get to the main shit. No title is too big or too small to take part. We're looking for cool, interesting games that will delight our audience. If you're interested in being part of the show, you can fill out this quick form, we don't care about that. And there's a trailer as well, that will, I guess, tell us about it. What is that? Ooh, what? Hey, 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 what? What is... What is that? I see some beach mamas and shit, like, what is this game? You gotta you got be copying this shit? You gotta be copying that shit? Oh, Lord! Future Game Show. Games Radar presents the Future Game Show. This upcoming digital showcase event will feature exclusive trailers, okay. announcements, okay. and deep dives from the most deep exciting games. Deep dives, okay. I want to dive deep. Beyond. I want to dive deep. In June, this what, what game was that? Mobile Back in the Sky? And you'll be able to watch the Future Game Show on a number of streaming platforms, including YouTube, Twitch, YouTube, Twitch. Twitter, and more. Head over to GamesRadar.com for details and mark your Wait, is it a physical event? Why are they showing physical footage? I thought Rona had cancelled all that shit. So yeah, pretty much, it sounds like your standard run of the mill, you wanna try and take over E3 event. I don't think this will interfere with some of gaming, IGN's thing, cause I'm sure they don't wanna like take that risk. So it's probably gonna be separately timed. That way we can still, you know, react to both. If there's gonna be exclusive information, it would make sense, right? Cause I don't wanna have to pick between one or the other. Plus if I could do both, that means I can just, you know, react to both on stream, have multiple streams, and obviously get watch hours and, you know, finally get monetization for my channel. So, you know, no bias there, naturally. But yeah, I mean, it seems like another event. I guess I'll check it out. These E3 copycats will not surpass the original, but it's better than nothing. 2020 has been a bit dry when it came to gaming, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm not when it came to gaming, but in general, like, in, the, in the sense that things have been cancelled, obviously. Obviously, games are still being worked on behind the scenes, but it has been a little bit dry. You know, that Mario Maker update was hype. You can check out my stream. I'll I'll put a card and then maybe a link in the description. I don't know. But overall, this is, this is this is good. It lets us know that June is not going to be a dead month. You've got IGN doing their thing or Games Radar doing their thing. I don't even think E3 should have cancelled, to be honest. I just think they should have held out a bit because it's looking like the lockdowns are going to be loosened. Maybe they wouldn't have had enough time to plan had they continued in May or something. I don't know. But either way, Hopefully this doesn't kill E3. If E3 come back next year, they said they're going to do a revised E3. I talked about that in my E3, or my summer of gaming video. So maybe that revised E3 will be some kind of digital version. In which case E3 can just do what IGN have done. 
hopefully if we still have the connections to do it and people don't just go well IGN did a good one so we're just going to keep doing IGN I hope IGN did not kill E3 because otherwise I'll be more mad at IGN than I already am Games Radar, I didn't even think they had the clout like that to be doing their own event, but cool. You want to you wanna do an event? You want to toot your own one? Fine. We'll watch. We've got nothing better to do, right? So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this information. Are you mad that people are trying to take the E3 throne? E3 who've been claiming the June throne since like, what, 95 since this E3 shit started? But yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. We've got more content coming soon to the channel. But it's your boy, Rem, Remulus, Rem Gang. Now.